Today is a sacred day. It is Easter Sunday. To find the most important day in history, we must go back to that evening almost 2,000 years ago in the Garden of Gethsemane when Jesus Christ knelt in intense prayer and offered himself as a ransom for our sins. Later that night, Jesus was brought before religious and political authorities who mocked him, beat him, and sentenced him to a shameful death. He hung in agony upon the cross until finally it was finished. His lifeless body was laid in a borrowed tomb. And then, on the morning of the third day, Jesus Christ, the Son of Almighty God, emerged from the tomb as a glorious, resurrected being of splendor, light, and majesty. Jesus Christ paid the price for our sins. All of them. On that most important day in history, Jesus the Christ opened the gates of death and cast aside the barriers that prevented us from passing into the holy and hallowed halls of everlasting life. Because of Jesus Christ, we will rise from the despair of death and embrace those we love, shedding tears of overwhelming joy and overflowing gratitude. Because of Jesus Christ, we will exist as eternal beings, worlds without end. Ancient and modern prophets testify that he is the Son of God. I do this to you. It is significant and important that we each come to know for ourselves. So when you ponder the life and ministry of Jesus Christ, what do you see? So when you're encompassed by sorrows and grief, behold the man. When you feel lost or forgotten, behold the man. When you're despairing, deserted, doubting, damaged, or defeated, behold the man. He will comfort you. He will heal you and give meaning to your journey. He will pour out His Spirit and fill your heart with exceeding joy. When we truly behold the man, we have the promise of a blessed future that inspires and upholds us through the bends and bumps in life's journey. Looking back, we will recognize that there is a divine pattern that the dots really connect. And the most important day in your life and mine is the day when we learn to behold the man, when we see him for who he truly is, when we partake with all our heart and mind of his atoning power, when with renewed enthusiasm and strength we commit to follow him. May that be a day that recurs over and over and over again throughout our lives. I leave you my testimony and blessing that as we behold the man, we will find meaning, joy, and peace in this earthly life and eternal life in the world to come. In the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen.